up all my two doctors and doctresses. Welcome to the second episode of the Tooth Factory. And today's topic is how to become a dentist in Canada. BDS to DDS in five simple steps. First, apply for equivalency in NDEB. Second, get accredited and take the first exam, AFK. Second, take the ACJ. Third, take the ACS. Exams are done. Take the boards and apply for a license and practice in Canada. When we ask questions about how to become a dentist in Canada from India, well, it takes hours of work, take loads of notes and a lot of days of referrals. Well, I'm going to narrow that down for you in just minutes. Hope this helps. Let's dive into ndeb.ca, get a pen and paper, take some notes down. All right, to answer the question on how to become a dentist in Canada, we must first visit the ndeb.ca website which lets us be familiar with a pathway. There are three categories and we are the graduates of non-accredited dental programs for Canada. Let's look into that. This will take you to a home page full of all the other options. I will narrow it down for you in ease. First of all, what is the certification and licensure in Canada? It allows you to do it in two different ways. Accredited qualifying degree completion program or a NDEB equivalency process. This is the pathway here on the right side Pathway to certification. First, you must do a web assessment, then apply at NDEB. So you must make an account, you must pay the fees, then you must submit the required documents for the verification. The government then will take 14 to 16 weeks for your document verifications, then allow you to take the assessment of fundamental knowledge exam, which is the first exam. You must pass that exam to cross over to the set of next exams, which are ACS, ACJ. They can be taken in any order. Clinical skills and clinical judgment. Once you have passed that, your standards are met and you can now write a board's exam, written OSCE and a board's national certification exam. You get your NDB certification and then you can apply for your provincial license. Pretty easy, step one. Now here is the process number two. You must go up to the process of AFK, pass it, get a high enough competitive mark in order to reserve a place in a degree completion program at a university, which is called as DDS Advanced Placement, where you will be placed between third and the fourth year dental students, take those courses, pass those exams, and then get your accreditation in dental programs then again, write the exact same board's exam as the exam procedures will, get your certification and then get your provincial license. Now, let's first take a look at what the first exam is. Considering that you have applied, you have done the document verification, your first exam you apply for is Assessment of Fundamental Knowledge or AFK. It is a 150 multiple choice exam with a list of our courses from BDS as weightage. I must give you an example. Pharmacology is weighed the most at 24%. Now the scoring is a test equated rescaled score of 75 or greater is reported as pass. Now, anything less than 75 from 150 is a fail. Once you have passed that exam, which again consists of an entire BDS from year one to year four, you must apply for clinical judgment. A clinical judgment is one exam, take an examination of five and a half hour with a 30 minute break in between for 120 to 150 single answer or multiple answer questions that surround your exam in diagnosis, treatment planning and clinical decision making and radiographic interpretation. Again, this website does give you a set of questions as example, how they are termed and your scoring is again a rescale score of 75 or over. Considering you have passed the ACJ, which is basically oral medicine and radiology and oral pathology, you must apply for a clinical skills exam. An ACS must be taken after you have passed the clinical fundamental knowledge exam. The format is a two-day assessment during which you must perform dental procedures on a simulated patient, a mannequin. Each day you will have teeth and your participant to communicate with. You will have 
an examiner perform as a patient and you must show your communication skills. The content of the assessment includes everything we used to do in our pre-clinics and clinics such as class 2 amalgams or direct or indirect, uh, composite restorations and endodontic access and rubber dam and crown, a lot of that. Infection control and hygiene is also recorded and a record keeping as a dentist is also recorded. The passing standards are very tough in this and very narrow where eight or more A's or A pluses must be taken with no grade only be taken at a maximum of three times. We're under required documents. Let's go to our required document list. Here is a list of all the required documents presented by the NDEB in which I must mention the required documentation form, identification, difference in name, and the original dental degree, original internship completion certificate must be provided by the applicant itself. The other two documents, confirmation of graduation, which is a form, must be signed by the controller of examination register or the dean, and the academic record, which is your transcripts, must be issued by the university in a sealed envelope itself. Locations, just a rough view, you can check it out on the website to bring to you a information where a registration deadline versus the actual examination deadline is far more different. So keep in mind, you must apply that much earlier and 14 to 16 weeks earlier than that for your equivalency. And locations are as depending on your exams in your city where a faculty of dentistry is. For example, Toronto, Calgary, Edmonton, you can take it anywhere you'd like according to the list you must pick. Here are the fees which you can check out on the website itself. Must mention the application fees are payable once and non-refundable. For this year it's this amount and each exam is worth this amount. Then again the other fees if in case you need any withdrawal or transcript marks itself. So NDEB step one, create an online profile, submit required documents, credential verification and then apply for your first AFK exam, ACJ exam and then ACS exam, pass it with its marking guidelines and then you can apply for your written and OSCE exams which then will give you a license in that province of your NDEB. I personally would like to mention it takes about two to three years of this entire process to complete and there you can become a dentist from a BDS to a DDS. Oh and before I forget like share and subscribe and leave some comments in the comment section below to let me know some feedback and some suggestions.